Okay, so here we are again. We have another probability question. Take a moment to read the problem here, and then as you go through, put notation to every number that exists. Pause it and give it a try. Okay, so you're back now, and so I'm going to say the probability that Marco delivered them is 0 0.4. Probability that Berto supplied it was 0 0.025. The probability that Lucas supplied them is going to be then the rest, which is 0.35, because they have to add up to 1. The second part, the discs are defective. The probability, discs that come from Marco have a defective rate of this. So the probability that they are defective, given that they came from Marco, is 0 0.04. The probability that they are defective, given that they came from Berto, is going to be 0 0.03. And the probability that they are defective, given that they came from Lucas, is going to be 0 0.05. Okay, so a disk is checked at random. What is the probability that it is defective? Well, to do this one, I am going to make a tree diagram, because when I have conditional probabilities, typically a tree diagram is the best option. Now, this tree will be a little bit bigger than what we've usually done, but this is going to be the probability of Marco or Berto. Or I could have Lucas, and this is 0 0.35, 0 0.25, and 0.4. Now, if it comes from Marco, it could be defective or not defective. Defective or not defective. Defective or not defective. And so now, uh, if I look at these probabilities, this is 0.04, so 96%. 0 0.03, 0 0.97, and then 0 0.05 and 0.95. And the first question says, what is the probability that it is defective? I'm looking for the probability of it being defective. Well, that occurs when I'm here, here, or here. So there's three branches where that happens. And I just go along and I put these together. I'm going to go 0 0.4 times 0 0.04 plus 0.25 times 0 0.03 plus 0 0.35 times 0 0.05. This is the probability of defective, because this branch is Marco and defective. This is Berto and defective. And this is Lucas and defective. So these cases, I end up with defective disks. I throw this in my calculator, which I've already done here. And I get 0 0.041 chance that you have a defective disk. That's A part finished. B part now says, a disk is checked and found it's defective. I know it's defective. What's the probability it came from Lucas? So what this is asking now, I'm looking for the probability that, that it came from Lucas, but I do know that it is defective. Well, if I do this scenario, I then know I'm looking for the probability of a Lucas and a defective disk divided by the probability that it is defective. Well, I already know the probability that's defective is 0 0.041. The probability that Lucas and defective, looking at my tree diagram, is this branch here, 0 0.35, 0 0.35 times 0 0.05. And so when I do this, this is the probability that came from Lucas, no, probably of coming from Lucas, given that I know it's defective. And so it's 0.35 times 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.041. And that produces for me 0.427% that it came from Lucas, if I know it was defective already. And this here is again an example of Bayes' theorem. Because Bayes' theorem talks about, on the bottom here, what it talks about for Bayes' theorem, let me clear some space here and if you look at the theorem oh that's fun if i look at the theorem it will say the probability of 
Lucas and defective times the probability of Lucas plus the probability of Marcus given defective times the probability ooh, of Marcus plus the probability of Berto given defective times the probability of Berto. This is what Bayes' theorem says on the bottom of my fraction, which is the same thing as the probability of being defective. And so, yes, we could go straight to the theorem and use it, but I find Bayes' theorem's notation gets really confusing. It's just as easy to break it down into a conditional probability and use your understanding of what the tree diagrams say to find the probability of defective. All right, and finally, the last part asks for, are they independent? Justify. Well, if they are independent, the probability of Lucas should be the same as Lucas given they are defective. They should be the same. Well, if I look at this calculation down low here, I just found it out to be 0.427. And so the probability of Lucas, does it equal the probability of Lucas if they're defective? Well, this is 0 0.35, 0 0.427. Are they equal? No, they're not. Another way I could do it, I could look at the probability of Lucas and defective. Does that equal the probability of Lucas? times the probability of defectiveness. And by do, looking at these numbers here, Lucas and defective is simply 0 0.35 times 0 0.05. Probability of Lucas, well, that is 0 0.35. The probability of defective, I know, is 0.42. Seven. And again, these are not equal. So whether you use the intuitive idea about independence, meaning these things are the same, or if you go to the formula from the formula booklet, either way is sufficient to determine that they are indeed not independent.